Inshallah, today is the third day for our class on inheritance made simple. If you remember, last week we discussed about classes of hairs and that all categories that we do mention here that if you have to inherit, you are either going to inherit as Alphard or Asamat. And also we mentioned that Asab and Fahad are those mentioned in the Holy Quran. And Quran mentioned it while Hadith and the Ijma mentioned four, which bring to the total of twelve and five. And we also mentioned that if you vividly remember that Asabat Asabat are those here that inherit and residuary residuary or residue they are only waiting whatever they remain they take yes and most of them as we said are from male line except a full sister in a special circumstance. Otherwise, all Asabat hairs are from the main line. And inshallah, today we are going to discuss about the numbers of hairs that we have, or you can call it categories, categories of hairs that we, we have. And a lot of books, Islamic books, like the Risala, talk about 10 men, 7 women. But basically, in this class, we are going to talk, because we are from Maliki, we are going to talk about on the numbers contained in Askari. It's a book popular in the one machine, Askari. It mentions of 25, type 25 pairs. And you should remember that when we say 25 years, that those who are entitled to inherit under Islamic law. And there will be no time that the entire 25 will come together. There will be no time. It is in the absence of A or B, C will inherit. And out of these 25, we have 10 males and 15 males. 15 males and 10 females. 10 females. And each of these has a specific portion when it's going to inherit, has a specific portion or share. For example, now, the 15 men, the 15 men that we have, if you want to mention them quickly, one which we have. When you mention a father, are we together? Second, we have father's father, father's father. Third, we have son. Fourth, we have son, son, son. Then fifth, we have husband. Husband of a wife. It's not, that is the picture of Islam. Even a husband has a share. All like other religion, all other system of inheritance. Husband, no. The, 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 the six. We have what is called full brother. Full brother is one that shares the same father, the same mother with one, with the disease. Then seven. We have consumptive brother. So we what? Brother. Then 
state where you try brother. The tribe brother is one that shares the same father, the same mother, with the, with the same mother only with the disease. Then we have nine. Full uncle. Full uncle means the uncle that shares the same father, the same mother with the disease father. Ten. Consanguine uncle. Then, yes, eleven. Son of full brother. Twelve. Son of consanguine brother. Then thirteen. Son of full uncle. Then fourteen. Son of consanguine uncle. Then fifteen, which is one who free a slave. It does a slave trade. If the master who free a slave and the slave doesn't have children, the master will hear it from him. This was made by son of. These are the 15 classes of hair that inherit in Islam. Then, quickly, the 10 females, female line that inherit, the 10 that inherit from the female line, female line, and if your name is not mentioned, yes, one is the daughter. Two, son's daughter, son's daughter, that is daughter of son. Three, we have mother. Four, we have mother's mother, mother's mother. Five, we have mother's father, mother's father. Six. We have your try sister. Seven. We have your try. We have a full sister. Eight. We have a, a, a full sister. Consumer sister. Consumer what? Sister. Consanguine, consanguine, um, who is consanguine sister? Consanguine sister the same, share the same father only with the, with the disease. Then we have wife. Wife. Here we mention husband. Here we put one wife. Wife also inherit in Islam. Then the ten, one who free a slave. These are the 15 classes of hairs that we have in Islam. But remember, there will be no time that these 15 will come together. If the father is there, the wife, she's there, the son is there, the daughter she is there, are we together? Yes, sir. Mother, she is there, all mother will not inherit. All other will not inherit, but if there is no father, father's father will come in. If there is no son, son's son will come in. If there is no mother, mother's mother will come in. Are we together? Yes, but there will be no time. All of the 25 will come together. The absence of one will bring another person far earlier to inherit. I think with these classes of heirs, if you have time at home, at your own time, study them one after the other. And inshallah, when we meet in, the, in the, our next class, we are going to look at the portion allocated to each other by the Holy Quran or Hadith of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm going to stop here. If anybody has any question, he's going to ask his question so that he, we, we move ahead. Yes. Yes, I have a question. Yes, what is your question? I 
Question one is, can a full sister inherit where a daughter is alive? Yes, your question is whether can a full sister inherit a full sister inherit when the daughter is alive? Yes, in Islam, full sister can inherit because she is also a Quranic heir. Allah has given her a portion in Quran 24 by 176. So also daughter has a portion in Quran 24 by 6 11. Now, what Allah has given a daughter in Quran is half of the property. So also, if a man die and leave a daughter, only one daughter, she's going to take half. And the full sister will also take half. A full sister is one who shares the same father, the same mother with the disease. Are we together? Yes, both of them will inherit and they will clear the entire property for two can go here, two can go here. Yes, any other question? Yes. Yes, sir. There's yes. A, the second question is this. If a man dies mm. and leaves only a daughter, mm. can she inherit all the property? Yes, in Islam, if a man dies and leaves only a daughter, under the Maliki school of thought, a daughter is only entitled to half of the property. The remaining half will be taken to Bethel Mali, that is the Islamic creature. And, but, in other school of thought, like Hamal and Shafi, it is allowed that a daughter will take half, and the many have under the principle of a rat, she will take the many half and add it together. But in Maliki, here we are, we are, she can only take half and go. I share here is only half. The remaining half will be taken, or someone will take me, ask me where is Islamic treasury. It can be used for mosques, it can be used for Islamia, it can be used for burial, burial ground, and what I do. Yes, any other question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My question will go this way. Okay. When a man. Yes, when a man. Who has two daughters. Who has two daughters? A man has two daughters. And a full brother. And a full brother. And the man dies. And the man died. The full brother now shared his property in three places. In three places. Give one to one of the daughter, another one to one of the other daughter, then take one for himself. A man Is died. it right? So, by your question, a man died and leave two daughters. Yes. And a full brother. That is their uncle. Yes. Yes. Now, it the property the man left, he divided the right into three. He take one according to you. He gave the other daughter one. Yes. And he gave the other one one. Yes. Is he right? Okay, let's put it this way. In Islam, when a man die and leave only two or daughter or three, three daughters are both. The share of a daughter is to touch. The two or three daughters are both is to touch. When the full brother now will inherit as Arab. That is residue. Whatever that remains, you will take. Now, let's put this together. I make three as our, let me say six as our LCM. Are we together? Now, two thirds of six is going to be what? Four. Or we can say, when we put it three, two. Two thirds of three is what? Is two. The one will take one. So, by our explanation now, if you want to divide the thing into three, the property is three. He pick one, give each of the daughter one is right. Because by this explanation, they are going to take only two thirds of the property, and then the one the brother will take, which is the same. But it has to go through the Islamic formula. No, it's own formula. Yes, any other question? Yes, yes, another question here. Sir. Uh, can a son, can a, can a grandson, I mean, inherit his grandfather? When his grandfather is late, can a grandson, can a grandson, grandson, yes, inherit his what? His grandfather, yes, in the event that his own father is late, yes, son, son, yes. and father's father. Are you in this? Let's assume the man here is a son of this man, and this is a father of this man. If this man is not alive, because the father that lived there is, is no more, 
Whatever that the father's father has belonged to the son son. He's allowed in Islam. Son son stand in the position of a son. Yes. Sir, another question is this. Yes. Uh, a man mm. give Usia a respect to his uh, to his property before before his death. Uh. Yeah, for instance, he has two estates, mm. and he decided to give, he has uh, two estates and two sons mm. and one daughter. Mm. And in the event that he die, it's okay, the estate, one to be given to his daughter, and the other one to the son. For the father, he has two wives. Can source we see a stand in these circumstances? Like, if I'm, I get you right, the man left a will. Yes. It was here yes. saying that he has two pl it's the two houses. Two houses and two wives. And two wives. Yes. And how many children? He has three children. Three children. Two sons. Two sons. And one daughter. And one daughter. One daughter, daughter belongs to one, one, yes. daughter, one wife. The yes. two sons belong to one wife. Okay, now he wanted each the daughter should take one. Yes. The son should take one. Yes. It's not right. It's not right. And that is not Islam. If that is not Islam. We by a question, the man died and lived. Two sons yes. and one daughter. Yes. But he had one house. But before he died, he wrote a will. A will that it was here. Saying that when there's no more, one house should go to this girl, this daughter, then the two sons should take one house. The beauty of Islam is that in our own class of it was here, a father cannot write was here in favor of his son. You cannot give a will in favor of your daughter. You cannot write a will in favor of your own wife. Anybody who is going to inherit from you as of right, you cannot write a will in his favor. The idea, the idea is because if we allow, I will choose the son that I like most and write everything to him. But Islam said no. There's, the wasia is cancelled. Nobody will honor that was here. Because after all, it's more than one touch. And was here cannot see one touch. These are the only property here. And he has shared it all, which is not supposed to be so. What is going to be, we will go back to the drawing board and share the two estates. Put the two estates together. Value the, let's say, we value the house in one million naira. Are we together? Now, this one million naira, will be divided into five. Each son will take two. The daughter will take what? One. Because in Islam, a man inherits a share of two daughters. I think we are going to stop here. With this, I will say inshallah till we meet in the next class. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.